What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we did receive a in-game update. Of course, today is Monday, November the 25th. And this was a few small changes, some pretty nice stuff, just kind of some more quality of life changes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. They're allowing up to four player parties in gun game now. They also moved free for all to the filter menu. They fixed the joining in progress for free for all to prevent finding late game progress matches. That is one thing I wish they would do for all game modes. I hate when you join a game and it is almost over or close to being over. Hopefully they will work on something with that for the other modes as well. And they turned off the spawn cameras for headquarters and hardpoint. They removed the infills for both teams uh, when loading on Piccadilly, Search and Destroy. A fix for bugs where the thermal optic on the PP-19 Bison would appear white while ADSing. And I've also seen some other people have some issues uh, or talk about having issues with this happening. I saw somebody streaming the other day and they were having the same problem with the sniper. When they would ADS with the thermal optic, it would just kind of be just solid white. It would not be able to, you know, that black and white kind of look. So hopefully that has worked that out. It doesn't look like they're doing it with all guns. It looks like it's just being worked on with the PP-19. So if you're still having that issue, definitely let them know. Of course, they fixed the issue for the EOD perk, not allowing players to hack claymores and free-for-all fixed a uh, various boosting and out of bounds exploits that are not go into detail but there's been a lot of people boosting kind of unlimited kill streaks i'm not sure if a lot of you have heard about this or not but it is uh, becoming a problem in ground war so hopefully that is part of this various boosting kind of fix also a fix for laser sights uh, on the p90 and the mp5 and a minor adjustment to difficulty for special ops. So I'm not sure what the minor change was. I guess it's making it maybe a little less difficult. Did not really go into great detail. And they also talked about what you can see now in the playlist filter. So now you have the option for team deathmatch, free for all, cyber attack, dom, search and destroy, headquarters, hardpoint, kill confirmed, TDM for 20 players, and domination for 20 players. Anyway, guys, like I said, this is a little small in-game update. Nothing you have to download on, on PC or, or Xbox or PS4. But you will get prompted when you load the game up to, you know, you have a playlist update and, of course, a download to update. So that is what this is kind of representing. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. And of course, if you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Also, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. Hit the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. I'll catch you all next time. Peace. 